Hi, this is Jillian, and this is a drawing I did for the Magnificent Maiden. Uh, I thought it would be like a cute sticker idea if I ever did merch for her. Um, it helps that I've been kind of really wanting to take a nap in the middle of the day here lately. And I just, I thought it turned out really cute and adorable. Um, maybe someday if life gets back to normal and once my vacation time gets longer than a week, I might do conventions in my local area. And if that goes well, I might set up a uh, Etsy shop. I just don't feel like um, my little audience warrants it yet. Uh, I don't know. Let me know down below. Would you like to see me do an Etsy shop? <laughs> anyway, um, today I want to talk about migraines. For those who don't know, I do suffer from them from time to time. I know that I know that I'm very fortunate that mine usually aren't that severe and they're not that often. Like, I know what triggers them. Um,. Like, I cannot have sharp cheddar, like, if I do, and if I don't take, like, medicine to help prevent a migraine, snap, I'll get one. And, um, uh, I've got a few other triggers, but that's, like, one of the big ones. And, like, my mother and grandfather both had them, and it's sort of genetic, and... Uh, my mom, particularly, I'm not sure about my grandfather, but I know my mom, hers were way worse. Like, part of it, she didn't, like, take medicine the moment she felt it coming on. And, uh, they would last for days and, like, completely incapacitate her. And maybe they were just that bad. I honestly don't know. I know for me, I know the difference between a severe headache and a migraine, even when the migraine's just starting off, or I usually do at any rate. And so as a result, I can take medicine while it's still in its infant form, and it's usually not that bad. Um, there is a difference between a migraine and a severe headache and it, it kind of irritates me to hear people say that they're having a migraine I'm like oh no are you feeling dizzy no is your eyes being blurry no do you feel nauseous no then that is not a freaking migraine people like, I'm not saying everybody has the same symptoms, and everybody's different, but there is a difference between a severe headache and a migraine. A migraine will incapacitate you if you do not catch it in time, and it has a totally different feeling. It's like, um, an elephant trying to sit on your forehead. Uh, and it has, like, this, <sighs> for me, at any rate, now, again, everybody's different. It makes you light sensitive. Uh, it makes me disoriented. Like, if I don't catch it in time, it will make my stomach swirl. And it will just, like, make me want to lie in a dark room with an ice pack and not move and if it's bad enough it may last a day or two and usually even with a minor migraine uh it'll i may not be necessarily incapacitated particularly if i've taken medicine or whatever but it will, like, the next day, even if I don't have the migraine anymore, I'll still feel slightly disoriented, and 
I won't feel like a hundred percent. It's like almost like you know the day after you get over cold or the two or three days later you still don't necessarily feel a hundred percent. It's sort of like that. It's like your brain has to reset or at least for me it's like I have to reset my brain. And if it's really bad, uh, which I had a bad one not that long ago, uh, it'll take a day or two to get better completely. Um, coffee helps, um, etc. And hashtag not sponsored. It helps me, uh... Like, Advil won't touch it. And Tylenol won't touch it. It might help it a little bit. But it won't get rid of it. And it won't prevent it from coming back. Now, I'm not saying you won't get rid of it eventually over time. Because it's sort of like an attack. Um, but it's better just to take that medicine and get it over with. And, like, I've become so aware of what the difference is between a severe headache and a migraine is that I can usually catch my migraine before it gets beyond its infant form. There's been a handful of times where I haven't, but for the most part, I can usually catch it, and even though I don't have them that often, I usually have them, like, once or twice a month, which is still too often in my book. Um, I still take some medicine to work out every single day. And I don't necessarily take it unless I feel like I'm having one, but I have it available just in case. Anyway, I hope you don't suffer from those things. They are god awful. And I hope you have a nice one. And um, like, subscribe, all that good jazz. <laughs> Bye.